Hello everyone, this is Popular Paxton speaking and I'm here right now to give the answers to my Q&A video that I announced back in February, the middle of February. So I want to thank you guys for asking your questions and now I'm going to be doing my best to answer them. Um, I believe I said in the video I was just going to answer as many questions as I could so Basically, I'm not really going to answer all the questions because some I felt like I didn't want to answer. So, if your questions are not answered, I do apologize for that, but maybe next time. So, I have about 15 questions that I want to answer in this Q&A video, answers video. So, let's get started. So, the first question comes from a user named Roger Rubenstein. He asked a few questions, and the first one I'm going to answer is... If CGI Ben was never taken down, would your old series still continue? Um, I'm sure it would. It would have been continuing. I would like to imagine that I would be done or close to being done with season 5. And then I just never knew if I was going to go on to season 6 yet because I would more likely be starting off on Medieval Misadventures. So, um, yeah, if CGI Ben was never taken down, I'm sure my old series would be continuing at this point. So the next question from Roger Rubenstein that I'm going to answer is, What do you think of Season 20 of Tums and Friends? I thought Season 20 was pretty good. Um, it did have a few not-so-great episodes, but other than that, the rest was pretty good. And the fact that it did some... CGI adaptions of the R Steel Railway engines, Mike, Rex, and Bert in the episodes Tit for Tad, Mike's Whistle, and Useful Railway. I thought that really helped bring the season to a good end. So yeah, those season 20 was a pretty good season. And yeah, I wouldn't agree that it was the best season. Because I think season 17 and 18 may have been a bit better but season 20 is still a good season and pretty much it's a three-way tie between 17 18 and 20 for a great seasons of the cgi series so the next question from roger rubenstein is do you still want to audition for tales from the other railway series so that's a series that he's doing and i'm just going to answer right now i do still want to audition i'm just not sure when I'll get the chance to audition because my life is pretty busy at the moment and I'm but I'm going to be going on spring break next week and so hopefully I'll have a chance to make an audition then so yeah I will like to audition I just don't know when I'm exactly gonna get the chance but we'll just see what happens so the next question comes from a user named Top Hat Tug and he asks what's the rarest engine you have so basically, I have a few trains that are pretty rare. Um, in terms of the rarest train I have, I would say the ones that I have that have flat magnets. So I have a few of those. Um, one of them is an old style Thomas. Another one is the round roof duck. Another one is the four wheel Mavis. And then the other one is a James's tender with no dates on the wheels I think I don't remember but it has stabled bottoms and flat magnets and painted coal cores so yeah it may have to be around those four that have to be the rarest trains I have and so yeah the next few questions come from a user named the cranky crane 02 and the first question I'm gonna ask, answer from him is what is your favorite Thomas special well, it's kind of a three-way tie between these three. They are The Adventure Begins, Soul Wars Legend of the Lost Treasure, and Blue Mountain Mystery. So The Adventure Begins is loved by a lot of fans. I mean, it brings back some good old memories of the very first episodes of Thomas and Friends. And so, yeah, it was definitely one of the best specials ever made. So, Blue Mountain Mystery was the best... Sharon Miller special made because for one thing it had the return of the narrow gate engines we got to learn Victor's backstory a little bit we got 
some new characters, although that's not really entirely a great thing when it comes to a special, according to most of the fans. And then, my favorite part of Blue Mountain Mystery was Paxton's role. In my opinion, Paxton was the glue that held the mis that held the movie together. Without him, I don't think the movie would have been possible. So that's all I like about Blue Mountain Mystery. And then Soto Such of the Lost Treasure. It was great too. We had some great new characters. Mike, Rex, and Bird were appeared for the very first time. And then we had some great returning characters. And lots of action scenes. And it was a pretty good movie altogether. So yeah, it's a three-way tie between Soto Such of the Lost Treasure, Blue Mountain Mystery, and The Adventure Begins. So the next question from the Cranky Crano 2 is, do you like Hugo? And Hugo is the newest character that has been introduced. He is a rail zeppelin. And, I mean, there's not a lot of new characters that I don't like. I wouldn't say I don't like Hugo. He's an okay character. But he just never got a lot of development. He only appeared in two episodes in his debut season, just like Philip did in season 19. And he barely gotten any development. We don't know what his job is going to be on the island. Like, is he going to be taking passengers along the main line? What's he going to be doing? And so, like I said, I don't, I'm not saying I don't like Hugo. I mean, he's okay. But he's probably not one of my top favorite characters from the CGI series. So yeah, I hope that answers your question and let's move on to the next one. The next question from the Cranky Crano 2 is, What do you think is the worst Thomas special and it can't be Misty Island Rescue? Um, I might say in my opinion the worst Thomas special may have been Tale of the Brave. And so I'm hoping I don't offend any fans of the movie or fans of Percy, but a whole special re that resolves, I don't know if that's the word, but it's all about like Percy's gullibility, his believing in monsters and his like stupidity. So yeah, a whole movie based around gullible, a bit dumb Percy, that just didn't make for an entirely great movie. I mean, I did like the part where Bill and Ben saved Thomas. And I do like the new characters. But that movie just wasn't exactly the greatest. And so, yeah. So like I said, I hope I don't offend any Percy fans or Tale of the Brave fans. But yeah. In my opinion, Tale of the Brave may have been one of the not so greatest Thomas specials. If Blue, if Mr. if Miss Yellen Rescue doesn't count, so yeah, that answers that question. The next question is: If you could bring back a character into the CGI series, who would it be? I, in if I could pick a standard gauge engine, it would definitely be Boko. Boko just needs to be brought back to this to the show. He was a great fan favorite of when he first was introduced and he barely had a lot of episodes that he appeared in so yeah he just really needs to come back to the show if I could pick a narrow gauge engine I'd pick Duke if I could pick a road vehicle I'd maybe pick George the Steamroller and then that and then if I could pick a piece of rolling stock definitely Hector because Hector only appeared in two episodes and I think he's a great character because he's a truck that's helpful and kind. So yeah, he definitely needs to come back. All these characters that I've mentioned need to come back. And so yeah, if I want to bring a character into the CGI series, it would be either Boko for Standard Gauge, Duke for Narrow Gauge, Hector for Rolling Stock, or George for Road Vehicles. So the next question, which is going to be the last question I'm going to answer from the Cranky Crane 2 is... What location do you want to return into the CGI series? And I would probably pick Great Water, Great Waterton from The Great Discovery. It only appeared in that movie and season 12. It was mentioned in Tale of the Brave, but I don't remember I don't remember where it was mentioned and I don't even think I heard it be mentioned, but 
Oh well, if you guys know where it was mentioned in Tale of the Brave, feel free to tell me. But yeah, I would definitely want Great Water Tint to return.